Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Trick, and here's a neat little trick. Control Shift K. If you were gonna weld this and then cut it all out, you're gonna lose this part of the, well, let's just do it and I'll show you. It'll actually look like a V and you don't want that. Now there's several other ways to do that, but I, I kind of thought I'd throw this out there. If you will take your text tool and select all your text and go Control K, it will change it to that case, which I totally don't understand because you can't change it even with the text and change case to that type of case. Uh, toggle case makes the, the capital smaller. You don't want all lowercase, you don't want all uppercase, and title case just doesn't work. So let's back it up here. Let's select all our font again, or our text, and then just Shift K, Control Shift K. Now, the way I would look at this is that I would vector and grade these little lines. So to do that, let's see how big this is. It's less than eight inches, so one nut made our nudge factor on eight. We're gonna hit the plus key and move it over, and then you've got two copies. We're gonna take this one and weld it. So this is gonna be our cut. Now we have to turn this into a curve for our virtual segment delete key to work and we're just gonna delete all this. Then we haven't welded it, so our rectangle's not really connected. And then I would select all these and make them black. Now we can nudge those over, and those will vector engrave, and you could actually turn them something thicker than a hairline and raster engrave them. But what I, then the way I would do this would be to take your text, and let's set our nudge factor a little bit higher, like 10 inches, make sure it gets off the page grab this and move out of the way. I would vector and grade this like at 100 power at 75 speed, 60 speed, 50 speed. It's not gonna cut through the wood. And then take that out of the picture and bring this back and then cut this out. And the reason I had suggest you do that first is because if this, if your table's a little unlevel or your vector bed's a little cupped, if this falls or your ward, Wood's a little bit warped. If this falls, it will already have that engraving on it. Now, looking at this, I don't like those square corners. And this is real easy to fix. You don't want to back up and start over with a new rectangle. So go to Windows, Dockers, Corners. Take your shape tool. Let me back up here a little bit. Take your shape tool and select that node. Hold down your shift key. Select that node. And we're going to fillet them, which is basically rounded corners, 0.1 of an inch. So now you have a little bit of, and you could do that with any, you could do it with the lower corners, but you really, if this is gonna sit in a base. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, thank you.